What's going on everybody, Captain Jack Spiro here. Uh, going to set out on a huge, huge adventure. Actually going to the Bahamas, going pretty far out there. Uh, hopefully the land of giants, but we'll see what happens. Um, going to work tomorrow, leaving a little bit early, heading out, um, gonna head out Friday. Gonna drive over to Cat K, and then from there we're gonna head over to another place. Uh, I don't really wanna give away all my secrets, but um, Basically right now, just packing all my gear. Uh, this is basically what I got going on. Um, good idea is to kind of throw all your gear out here just so you make sure you get everything you need before you put it in your bag because sometimes you'll put stuff in your bag and not realize what you put in there and what you didn't put in there. Uh, so for me, I like to put all my gear out there ahead of time. Uh, those of you who don't know, the Bahamas is primitive spears only, so no spear guns. Uh, I have just got this uh, Nomad Headhunter. I have another Gatku that I won. Um, over there I'll be using some slings. Um, but basically, got my wetsuit, got all my standard dive gear mask, uh, fins over there. Uh, going to bring my Mercrew flashers, weight belt, all the good stuff. These are dry bags full of clothes and bedding, hammocks and stuff that we're basically going to sleep in on the boat for Saturday night. Uh, hopefully we get out there. I'm going to bring my drone, get some really good footage for you guys. Uh, but yeah, pretty pumped. It's probably going to be one of the best trips I've taken in a long time. So very excited about it and I'm glad I could take you guys with me. So I hope you enjoy. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, so I am super pumped. Just got off work on my way down to pick up a couple of the guys. Uh, we're actually going to meet up at a Target, um, get our stuff together, and then head down and go ahead and meet at my cousin's house. We're gonna sh head out from there and basically check in and have a nice dinner at Cat K. So hopefully, uh, hopefully everything goes smooth. Showed up to Target, this guy. Oh, rolling in hot. We are loaded down, heading to Miami now. All right, guys, we're live. Check out my latest vlog, Jack Spiro, Captain Jack Spiro, 100,000 followers. Yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here. Uh, we are here. Got we're the crew. This guy. The that's going to be our ride. Woo. I don't really want to pack too much everybody's stuff so they know where Look at that. What's this, a camera? Uh, I've got it's a drone. Console. There's probably not, mu not much room in there, but there's plenty of room. Alright, you guys. All right, so we just yeah, good, touched down in Cat K. Uh, you never it's a nice know. ride over. Um, we, uh, we're checking in now. Got dock lines, Guggen, Guggen City right here. Right size the lines, yes. <laughs> yeah, smooth ride over. Captain Richardson, yo. All right, loading up for the night. Logging it. We're here. Oh, really? Spencer's having a problem. <laughs> yeah, I got a fucking can of fuel back here. Trying to get back to you. Oh man, is this awesome? 
strong, boys. We're blocking, we're blocking. Dude, are you gonna say that every time? <laughs> Watch it over here. This place is sick. I'm gonna show you what's up. Okay, I just wanna be sure you can do that. Yeah. We're vlogging. <laughs> John, this guy's never so We're going to clean the box. We'll be back soon. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, call and cleaning time. Am I going in? Yeah, I go in. This is nice. Dang. This is nice. Outdoor shower. What a view, huh? Oh, so nice. Gonna be grilling soon. Dude, this house is insane. Steak dinner time. Uh, we're just gonna put these because the sticks are getting colder by the second, you know. Well, for us, then bring up stir fry or uh, deep fry. Try it. Gonna be so good. We're vlogging. Yeah. Vlogging. I should get rid of the red eye, huh? Awesome sauce, conch, steak. It's gonna be amazing. On the water. Sunrise is 6.30, so I'd like to be heading out the channel as the sun's coming up. I know, so we're getting... I'm videotaping me, videotaping you, videotaping me. Oh, nice. Vlog, Spider. It's a vlog, bro. We got some wind. Scott, what do you have to say? We're vlogging. We're vlogging. We're vlogging. Look at that sunrise. Woo, it's beautiful. Gearing up. Not to wet suit up. I'm gonna crush it. All right, so the first place we went to was an old abandoned lighthouse. When we first jumped in, Scotty saw a Kubera, shot it, and was able to land it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any video of him shooting it, but I was able to catch a little bit of the aftermath. So there was a ton of life and a ton of structure on this lighthouse, so I took a dive, ended up getting a nice shot on a mangrove. Unfortunately, it tore out, but later on I was able to land a secure shot and get the fish. The pole spear that I'm actually using is new to me. I just bought it recently, and it is a Headhunter Nomad spear, and it is a beast of a pole spear, and I end up having a, quite a bit of luck throughout the weekend with it. The next place we went to, there was a lot of life, but it was basically hard bottom and not a whole lot of holes for fish to rock up in. When John and I were searching around the reef, Scotty and Spencer ended up finding a nice dog sapper and it holed up and Scott got a real nice shot in it and it was a really good sized dog snapper.
nice dog. Fuck. That's a good dog. I know. <laughs> When we were messing around with that dog snapper, a grouper kind of came in and took a look and bolted. I followed it, it holed up, and I ended up getting a nice shot and was able to stone him. So after warming up on some shallower stuff, we decided to go a little deeper between 50 and 70 feet. We decided to throw in some of the Mercury flashers and hopefully get some pelagics coming in. I saw some yellow jacks off in the distance. I took a dive, started making some grunting noises, and ended up chasing them down and landing a shot. So as you can see that nomad had some super good range and I was able to land the shot. The jack started fighting back quite a bit so I have my pole spear attached to my belt reel so I ended up letting some of my line out and unfortunately the fish got wrapped up on the reef. Luckily I had my other dive buddies there and they were able to help me out go down there and untangle the fish and we were able to land it. So in the midst of dealing with this whole jack situation, John ended up shooting a nice sized mutton. I knew there were sharks in the area so I hurried up over to help him out and I yelled out to Scott because my hands were full with the fish and my spear. By the time I got over there, the shark was all over the fish and I tried to go down and do as much as I could but unfortunately the shark was too fast and I had no spear to poke him away with. Pull it up! Pull it up! lost a nice mutton. So with all the commotion, a nice flag yellowtail came up and that was a nice little consolation prize that Scott ended up landing. No, dude, Watch that shark behind you. Right before I shot that jag, Scott and Spencer ended up diving along the edge of the reef and he landed this nice hogfish, ended up weighing in about 10 pounds. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you think that Scott should start wearing a GoPro. On our next drift, we decided to start chumming. I looked down and an African pompano came rolling in. I've never shot one on a pole spear, but was going to go ahead and give it a try.
Those of you who don't know, an AP stands for African Pompano, and they are possibly one of my favorite fish to eat. We went to another deep reef. When we first jumped in, a mutton snapper came swimming across the reef. I took a dive took a long range shot with the nomad and was able to land the fish. My dive buddy Spencer went down to make sure I had a good enough holding shot just to make sure he didn't need to put a second spear in him and luckily it held and we were able to land him. Long shot! I think he's close, he had an awesome shot. He On our next drift, we had nothing but the Mercury flashers down there, and a big African Pompano came cruising by, and I was able to land a shot. This was a bigger than normal fish, so it started peeling off a lot of line from my belt reel, and I started holding up the number two to let everybody know that we need to get a second shot in him because I'm not sure if that first shot was enough to hold him. Fortunate for us, the African Pompano started taking off in the direction of Scott. Scott ended up making a dive and was able to put another spear in him. Drive the flashes. It ended up getting to the point where I just needed to horse him up because a nice bull shark came in and was in a little bit of a frenzy. Alright, so we've been diving for about four hours now. Uh, got a problem with the ice because we don't have enough. Uh, we totally got a ton, ton of fish. The guys are deep dropping right now. Hoping for some uh, queen snapper. But this is what we got so far. Loaded up. I shot African Pompano, there's Dog Snapper, there's a Kubera in there, there's a Black Scott Grouper. Shot the Scott shot the Dog Snapper. Scott shot the biggest hog. <laughs> Scott shot the biggest hog. How many African Pompano did you shoot? Scott shot two African oh, Pompano you Jack just took credit for it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. We're going to be good eating. That thing goes way back in there, too. Good stuff. More to come, for sure. Careful. Nice. 
All right, hold on. We needed some more ceviche fish, so I'm gonna take the rest of that. Nice fillet job, John. Look at that. All right, so we're on the move, and John is making some ceviche with the Ciro. Nice Ciro that we shot. Did you only use one half a uh, half a fillet? I didn't even use a whole half. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even use a whole half of the fillet. It's all that right there, and there's some more of it over there. Yeah, just dicing it up, small pieces. Gonna have like a little uh, ceviche bowl made up. Meanwhile, we're deep dropping. Just found some good structure. Where is that? Where's that structure? Yeah, just found a little bit of structure. 400 feet. That was my right, So we're almost done. This is what we got going on. Ceviche mix. There's lemon juice and a bunch of herbs and cilantro. spice and cilantro and peppers and garlic, onions, all that good stuff. I brought blackies we can Oh yeah. Uh, do you want to pull uh, we, throw all that meat? We can put a lot more in there. Hold up. Uh, I think it'll be alright. Let's, let's put some more in. You sure? Yeah. I'm gonna put the so super sad news, one of our engines failed. The alternator uh, isn't charging the batteries. So the bad news is we're not gonna be able to go home and we're not gonna be able to dive anymore today. And uh, we have to actually go to Cat K and um, you know, kind of kind of play it by ear from there. So we're kind of basically stranded over here. We can't even get on a plane with the two motors that we have. Um, so right now we're just kind of eating and uh, just slow putting back to Cat K and yeah it's very unfortunate but our cooler is pretty full I shot some awesome fish um, we all got some really good fish too um, but yeah kind of kind of sucks but you know this is the this is the risk you take and hopefully I'm not home too late um, it's just really sucks but yeah we're trolling hopefully we get something um, I doubt we will uh, haven't had a bite yet but you know, trolling always reminds me why I don't like to troll. So I gotta do it every once in a while. Yeah, I'm still hanging in the shaft. This is, you were there. You, you, you don't uh, Yeah, that's uh, right. I got picked up, right. but um, you didn't dive when you were driving the boat. All right, so we made it back late last night. Uh, this is day two. We're trying to, the guys are trying to fix the engines. Best case scenario, we end up fixing them. All three of them, and uh, then we get to do a little bit of diving today. So we'll uh, kind of stay tuned. Uh, gonna try to get my drone up, maybe get some video of the island, and you guys can see kind of where we were staying. So, but hopefully it works out. We'll, uh, I'll let you know. All right. So horrible news. We only got two motors, so we're gonna be putting at about eight, eight mile an hour. Yeah, Mercury's. Uh, unfortunately, we have to uh, put our whole way back, so it's probably going to take us five to six hours. At least we're going to high speed troll if we end up getting anything. Try eight. All right, eight hours. Um, we're going to high speed troll though, so hopefully we get a wahoo or something, some kind of pelagics that might be might turn into a nice trip, but I don't know. It kind of sucks. David, what do you think about Mercury's? No comment. Yeah, no comment. No comment. All right, so we were about 12 miles out and from uh, Bimini or from uh, the Bahamas, and we decided to. I decided to give the motor one more crank, and it started up, and we just hauled butt home, and we made it back the extra 38 miles, which would have probably taken us like five hours it took us what like yeah it would have taken us another at least four hours yeah four and a half hours yeah it would have taken us at least four more hours but it ended up taking us like an hour maybe an hour and a half so super super stoked super excited um now we're back now we actually get a uh, get a jump start on cleaning the boat and fish and stuff so yeah we're we really lucked out really that the really engine good. finally started so we could get on a plane so that was great 55 60 feet of water Jack Killen. Uh, to, uh, well, see, John's just, got the head of a mutton that we well, played no, last we, night. Yeah. That had to have been. That was the dog. All right, guys. So we're finishing up here, uh, cleaning the boat. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and please like, please subscribe, kind of share it with your friends. 
uh, I want to grow this channel and hopefully turn it into something pretty cool. Um, I know I can put out better content than I am, uh, so I you know, need a little bit of motivation and also incentive to grow the channel. So um, those who watch and have been watching, thanks so much. And go ahead and subscribe, like, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, signing off. See you guys.